uncertainty looms over the future of livestock feeds concern continue to grow over unprecedented increase in animal feeds prices as well as shortage of this precious commodity this has led to some farmers embracing unconventional ways to reduce the cost of production while getting quality animal animal feeds our very own dennis muni caught up with one farmer who has grown big with this insect take a look One man's meat is another man's poison. It is a saying that Samuel Kanyuera, a farmer and a trainer by profession, has known too well. Samuel rears the black soldier fly, primarily for its lava at his farm in Kagio, Moya, Kirinyaga County. We are into black soldier fly farming, mainly to train uh, our farmers, the women groups, the youth group around this area, uh, so that they can appreciate the black soldier fly, uh, mainly to cut down the cost of feeds uh, and also to mitigate climate change. Rotten bananas, pineapple and food waste, just about any organic matter will do for these waste recycling insects. Thousands of these lava eat in a twisting mouth, sharing a single serving of any kind of organic waste. His quest to offer solution to the high cost of feeds in the country drove him to rear the insect, floating cost in feeds, which is most expensive component, accounting to 70% of the total production cost. Uh, black soldier fly farming ni kilimo cha kisasa. Na kwa sababu sio wakulima wengi ambao wanafahamu eh, faida ya ukulima huu. Kwa sababu wakulima wengi hususan wakulima wa kama uh, kuku, nguruwe na hata samaki Changamoto yao kubwa huwa ni gharama ya ukuzaji wa mifugo hii. Na hivyo basi unapata kwamba about asilimia sabini ya e, pesa ambazo wanatumia katika ukuzaji hawa huwa inaenda kwa ulishaji. With just small amount of capital, one can start the venture. But there are a few challenges in layering the black soja lava. According to Samuel, black soja fly Farming is revolutionizing waste management and feed production, offering a cost-effective and sustainable method to address the growing challenges of food security, climate change, and resource scarcity. And unlike traditional feed ingredients, BSF larvae require minimal resources and drive on waste products which help reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Ukulima huu, hawitaji garama kubwa. Black soldier fly larvae Eh, lishe yao ni chakula cha ambacho huwa kinapatikana sokoni yale mabaki ambayo yanabakia kule sokoni na yale ndiyo unaleta unalisha wale wadudu ambao tunaoita lavi bila shaka mtawaona na basi katika kuwailisha hao wadudu wa lavi huwa wanakula hicho chakula na kinachobakia huwa ni mbolea ambao tunaita kama frasa ambao mkulima yote anaweza kuitumia katika shamba lake Researchers emphasize the unique benefits of BSF farming, especially in regions where food insecurity is prevalent. They argue that transitioning to insect-based protein is not only viable, but necessary for the future of food systems. This practice also aligns with sustainable agriculture principles by using locally available materials and creating a closed-loop system where waste is fully utilized. As the demand for sustainable agriculture grows, BSF farming presents an accessible opportunity for small-scale farmers to increase their yields while reducing environment impact. So, ukulima huu wa black soldier fly lavi ni ukulima ambao wakulima wetu na hasa vijana na kina mama wanafaa kuchukulia kwa kutilia manani ili tuweze kupunguza gharama na pia kupunguza makali ya, ya climate change. With an increasing demand for protein sources, farmers are looking for sources that are readily available and sustainable. Samuel believes that black soldier fly is the right insect to fill that gap. It is evident that this organic fertilizer, commonly known as FRAS, obtained from black soldier fly farming, has a lot of benefits in farming. Dennis Muni, KUTV.